Good morning, folks, and uh, welcome to um, what is now going to be called um, Cold Turkey. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. I know. And today we're going to go to Gaziantep to the bazaar and see if we can get some food and street food and stuff like that. But yeah, it was minus three overnight and highs of six today with a bitterly cold wind. There he is, all snuggly. Left the diesel heater on for him. Actually says it's 19 at the front. So yeah, that's why we've left the van at 24. Keep him nice and warm. Just chill yourself out. Mummy and Daddy can see you on the little camera at the back there. Make sure you're all right. Are you ready? This is social media. I am. It's <laughs> my job now, you know. Is it? It is. Oh, okay then. So you've obviously <laughs> many, many, many layers on. I've got three layers plus my jacket. Plus me, a snooty buff thing. It's got like a lovely uh, fleecy lining in this thing. Gloves, um, gloves. Hat. Got a fleecy lining in my hat as well. And, and I've got a fleecy jacket. lining in my gloves and a heated jacket. And was still cold when we walked Cooper and Edda. Yeah. So this is a little park up we've chosen in a park near a mosque. And um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, 20 minutes to the centre or to the um, bazaar that Mandy wants to go to which if you know her well you'll know that that's not very bizarre for Mandy so yeah park up locked up everything inside out of the way This is Kunafe and this stuff, I don't know what this is, but they it's literally like shredded phyllo pastry. And that's why they call this place the Baklava capital of the world. Oh, so six pieces, but we can try enough from everywhere. One pound 63. Nice.
So how much is that one? 40. And that one's? 140, 140. was it? 140. So that one is made himself. Mm. And that one's machined. I like that one, but I like the fact they made that himself. Which is it? Ah, so this is better quality. Yeah. And that is not so much. Yeah. It is lighter. Oh, you said it's band like that. Cool, that wasn't it? That was brilliant, and that was a bargain. Got to see him making some stuff. He oh. gave me these. I'm, I'm assuming it's because we didn't barter. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, but he gave us these on the way out, so how pretty. 150 lira for the uh, cup, For the coffee it? pot. So yeah. guess what I'm doing when we get back in the van. So you're going to find some coffee now, then? I've got to find some pistachio coffee, I've been yeah. told, so yes. Uh, pistachio coffee. Pistachio coffee? Pistachio coffee. Pistachio coffee. No meat, no sugar. Yeah. Nature, no sugar. Mm. Uh, water and coffee mix. Oh, he doesn't look good. Oh. You can have it now. I'll have this one too. <laughs> Thank you. Another purchase. Oh, I am having so much fun. <laughs> Apparently we needed a fruit bowl. Yeah. So now we've got a fruit bowl. Well, what happened yesterday when we went round a big roundabout? And the fruit fell out of the bags that were just floating around the van. Yeah, we went so, everywhere. So now, so now the fruit in the fruit bowl can go floating around the van. <laughs> well, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. So. And you're doing well with your haggling. I know. I've got um, well a little bit of discount, yeah. which is which is good. I think for what we saved so far about yep. two pound fifty. Yeah, about 50 lira, something like that. Yeah, which is actually, I find, I find quite good. I find that I'm not offending anybody, which is the, yeah. the thing with me. I'm not used to it, so, yeah. All right, off we go, a bit them. more. Yeah. They're busy now. Oh. Call to prayer as well. so happy with your haul there were certain areas where we couldn't film either because they were playing music um, or there was just a lot of noise around so uh, Mandy's gonna give you a bit of a breakdown of what she's purchased today Yay! well first of all I got this and this is a Turkish coffee cup I mean how cool is that that keeps your coffee warm no and it's very cool. That comes out of the of the outer bit to give it all. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's losing bits already, folks. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Found it. As we were. As we were, yeah, uh, to, to wash it properly. But uh, that is reminiscent of our very last meal in England, just the two of us before we left. Yeah, because we went for a Turkish meal. We went for a meal. Turkish meal <laughs> and obviously finished it off with a lovely Turkish coffee in a cup just like that. Yeah. So yeah, and it's not it's not heavy at all, babe. Uh huh. Yeah. And that was from like what would you call it a second hand shop? A second hand shop, yeah, yeah a, a vintage shop. Yeah. He was trying to sell us load of, load of Soviet stuff. <laughs> yeah, loads of Russian pins. It's so very that's peculiar. some Russian pin. And he said it was a vintage one. He showed yeah. us a load on a, an old like a jacket, wasn't it? Yeah, like a military jacket. And then you got those little spoons as well. And these these need a little bit of a clean up. This one's silver and this is traditional from what he was saying. So I just need to give them a bit of a clean. But I just love the little spoons. We had loads of them in the apartment, didn't we? Mm. Oh, in the villa. Um, so I've got a couple more as well. So the next shop you went to is where you bought this one. And he was trying to make you buy the cheaper one, wasn't he? Because your haggling skills. <laughs> He was saying, this one is good, but it's a bit bendy. And then this one is tough and he's bashing it on the door, saying it will last for ages. But one was 150 and one was 50. Yeah. So there was a heck of a difference. There was a heck of a difference. But didn't he say that he did all of this himself? Yeah, on a machine. And that's why he started banging it around and he to prove that one was 
better quality than the other one. You could really tell, and this one had a nice wooden handle, and the other one was a copper handle. So yeah. I think this one's going to be a lot easier to use. But you were saying that this is better. But if I wanted one and I didn't want to pay this money, yeah, I could, could get the, the cheaper one. And because you didn't haggle with him after he explained that, yeah, he gave you two nice spoons. Two little things. spoons. I know. I cannot believe that. It's amazing. So you need to try better at haggling, I think. <laughs> well, so they don't give guilty. me things. Yeah. I know, I know. But he told, he was telling us that he was uh, from Syria and yeah. he had come to get make a new life in Turkey, and then he had this shop, and it was just so good. And I'm like, here, have my money. That's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I do need to maybe get maybe if I'd have just knocked ten lira off that that might have been yeah, a, a, you've a made thing. Yeah. Feeling would, better. Yeah. But yeah. And then your last one because apparently we need a fruit bowl. We for, need a fruit bowl for all the fruit we eat. <laughs> So that one was, um, again, the same sort of thing, wasn't it? That the guy was showing you two or three different types. And you were like, no, I want that one. And then he started to say, but well, this one's much cheaper and thinner. Yes. But, nah. But we wanted, we needed a curved side so we could fit more fruit in. Go on, show them the nice the sun effect of it. Ooh. Ooh, it's beautiful. Which, you know, just describes you perfectly because you're like a magpie. Ooh, hey. shiny. I was a bit like that today, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> but no, so I got this and I haggled with this guy as well. You did? How and much? he seemed to be happy with that. You got 20 lira off that I got one, didn't you? 30 lira Is off that 30? one. Yeah. You didn't get any spoons, so you must have done a good job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we need some fruit now, I guess. Because we've scoffed all the fruit you bought on the um, side of the road the other day, haven't we, mainly? No, we haven't. Um, we've eaten all the bananas. What are they called? Muzz. Yeah, more so. That's, was, that's why I know we've got none left. Because that's the only fruit that you eat. Yeah. But we've still got some oranges left. We've got an avocado and a pomegranate, which is, you know, when we go around a roundabout and you, you hear, boom, boom, oh, boom. Yeah. That's the pomegranate. That's what why about, I need a fruit bowl. <laughs> what about the lemons, though, are orange in colour? The orange lemons, I've not tried them yet. I'm going to do yeah. some juice in a bit, though. So, okay. um, so, yeah, we're going to try them because, yeah, they look like oranges, but the lady at the side of the road was adamant that they were lemons. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. And then... You had some uh, little purchases of a different type. Mm. Some pistachios, which uh, the guy said a kilo, and you went yes. And I was thinking, wow, that's going to last <laughs> until we get back home, that. Uh, they are lovely, though. I love the fact that you can just walk up and be like, and, and they'll just tell you to try one, or they'll yeah. give you some to have a go at. So there was like, I didn't know the difference between the, what was it, six different kinds of pistachios there? There were many, yeah. So I just went for your very standard uh, roasted salted, because they are my favourite. Yeah. And they are beautiful. They are like nothing you get to taste in the UK. They are just so much nicer. Um, and then um, a chap came out, didn't he? Was, we had these... Look at these. Tiny, you kept the cups as well. Tiny, tiny. It's only because I couldn't find a bin, so I put oh, them in the back. Okay, uh, so these tiny, tiny, and that's what we got to try. Little samples of this pistachio coffee. Which is, go and describe it because it's got quite a different, unique blend of coffee in there, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to read off the back because it's in English. Oh, helpful. Um, it's got coffee cream because it, because it was really creamy and I'm like, has it got milk in? He goes, no. I thought that it was like a creme <laughs> layer that you get off your coffee maker. I thought it was I was quite thinking good. that too, but no, it's actual. So it's got a coffee creamer, ground Turkish coffee, roasted, pea, uh, roasted peanuts, it says, but it's pistachios, right. um, instant coffee and sugar. Right, okay. And so it's instant. It literally is just add hot water. Right, okay. But, oh my goodness, as far as instant coffee is concerned, this is the take. It's got li little bits of nuts. At first, when you if you're used to drinking Turkish coffee, you have a drink and it's like, because you have to get used to the ground. You know, you've drank it too quick. So you have yeah. to let the ground settle to the bottom. And I thought that was what that was. And I'm like, num, num. oh, hang on a minute. Num. Oh no, it's, it's nuts. And they just kind of float on top of the coffee. And now... I mean, you were saying, sorry to interrupt, you were yes, saying on the way back from the park that you've got no actual buyer's remorse at all for any of this, but you wish you'd have bought more of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to keep an eye out for that then. Yep. Because we did see it in a, quite a few different shops. Yeah, they were just kind of propped up amongst all the pistachios and things, yeah, weren't they? So, so it might be an actual stores as well yeah yeah i mean it was really the fact that he let me try it first yeah i mean i don't think i'd have got three bags of it if um if it was just a case of giving it a try off off the bat but it was only 60 lira for yeah. three bags of big bags of instant coffee there so and, um, do you mind if you get out the only thing that i bought today for me well apart from all the food we bought which was quite nice all the little uh side street kind of cafes and everything went into 
Oh, I had a surprise in the cafe that we went into, didn't oh, I? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I mean, again, that was nice. Just went in there and um, just ordered a kebab and whatever it was he was cooking on top. That's what got me in the shop. We could just see he was cooking something like in a wok thing yeah. outside the shop, wasn't he? I'm like, my goodness, that smells amazing. So I ordered a portion of that. We had our food and it was very nice. We had a Beautiful. drink and everything. I couldn't stop saying, I'm, John, you need to try this. It's amazing. Yeah, and I was looking at it going, no, that looks slimy, which isn't my favourite texture in food. <laughs> and I am so glad I didn't because on the way out... I asked him. Yeah, and um, he put it into his little Google Translate and it said it was... Roasted liver. Yes. So John doesn't like... I don't mind it. Um, but I was quite happy I had my chicken. Thanks very yeah. much. Oh, but the flavours. It had cumin and ground cumin and ground coriander on there. It smelt like a chilli, but it had fried peppers and onions in it. It was probably one of the best dishes I have had. It was amazing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm on about... Baklava. Yeah. It's in the back. <gasps> How dare you? Look at that. She gets all her own trinkets out and everything like that. Ooh, yeah. All right, Mr. Speedy Gonzales. I put it in the back so it wouldn't get all squished up so it was level on the bed. I'm after scoffing it now. Ooh, baklava. Even Coop's come down for baklava now. <laughs> he knows that noise from you. He's like, yeah, oh, like, something's good going yeah. on. I'm going to go see what Dad's got. Are you for me? Baklava? Oh, I like baklava, Daddy. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's lovely. I like that because it's got honey in it. And I know that you think honey's good for my joints. <laughs> so, yeah. Baklava. Oh, look at that. You covered it up. Oh, yeah. So, baklava. A bit of a snack now. And then probably polish that off later. But all in all, a good couple of days in Gazi and Tap. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was a bit worried, I must admit, because um, there's been... Yeah, he's having a drink. Carry on. Uh, there's been a, a difference the more further east we've come um, to how many people speak uh, fluent English or yeah, not. Or understand English. Or understand English. And or I even think, understand putting Google Translate in front of them. Yeah, That's a lot of people aren't even getting that. Yeah, um, I think we've been really lucky so far, which has made us a little bit lazy. Yeah, maybe. Because even though we've been learning Turkish, we've not been using it, and you know what it's like. Yeah. If you use, if you learn it but don't use it often, uh, obviously we say please and thank you and hello and goodbye and, and things like that. But um, yesterday worried me, but today yeah. it felt like I was back on it again. Um, I think the problem is that in the West, I would say the food is more abundant, uh, the quality of food is more abundant, other places being in the West, and people are more inclined to either understand English or want to speak whatever they know in English to you. Yes, they enjoy so, they enjoy practising yeah. their, their English, don't so they? So the further east we've got, there has been less choice of food, to the point now in Gaziantep, really, um, it's kebabs, isn't it? Yeah, so, it's, it's kebabs or meze seem to be, yeah. or stews, and, yeah. and, and that, but it was like kebab, everything that was in a kebab had been put in a stew. Yeah. Um, which was, there was so many things, and it smelled amazing all the way around. Yeah. And every shop, um, there was bakeries, but they were all, like, every third shop was either baklava or simit or... But that posh restaurant we went into last night, even there, was just kebabs. Yeah. You know, that, so just to bear that in mind, if you are coming over this way, the more east you get... Um, it's probably the more traditional of foods, yeah. isn't it? Because it's probably just more made for the Turkish clientele yeah. rather than Euro uh, Europeans or, or just foreign travellers. So. so does that mean to say that when we get to van, that it'll be van life food? <laughs> well, that I'll be cooking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, this is, uh, I think, because we've been lucky enough to stay in some nice places where there have been cafes and restaurants and things lately, so instead of cooking, it's been just a case of popping out because we've been eating out for £7, yeah. haven't we? And it's been lovely meals, so... Um, I think we've had that problem where it's been cheaper to go and get that kind of food out and easier than it would be to come back in the van and cook oh, it yeah. and do all of that. So we've been, and obviously if you stay somewhere for free, then normally there's a way of paying it back and yeah. we've been eating that way of paying yeah. it back. Right, I think you should um, try out your coffee mug with your coffee while we have a back of that. And um, yeah, then we'll plan our trip for tomorrow, which is um, back to the Stone Ages. No, no, Mud Hut Ages. There we go. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that though. That's been that looks amazing. Yeah, nice coffee. Thank you. Mm, um, chewy. <laughs> really? It's peanuts. 
Oh, pistachios. This coffee tastes a little nutty. It is a little nutty. Name the film, people. Well, I nearly was people then. Yeah. <laughs> like it then? Yeah, oh, it's nice. And this had a uh, 200 ml of water in it, only because the coffee instruction said that you had to have this to this much. And that took, what do you reckon, two minutes to boil? Oh, with that. So, yeah. And how many of those thimblefuls of coffee are you going to get out there? Many, many. So you'll be happy for a while then? I will and be. And then bouncing around the van. <laughs> Not new there, though. Yeah. Uh, uh. So that concludes our little trip to Gaziantep. And now we head off east. But at least we will in the next video, where we find out what it means when they say they've had a little bit of snow in Turkey. So click the subscribe button, ding the bell. You don't want to miss this next video. See you next week. <laughs> it's snowing in the van. Thought we'd see how much snow we got last night. <laughs> and we got a little bit of snow. <laughs>